Is this thing on? Hi. My name is Detective Adam Wilkinson. I, um... I just escaped from Sector 1. There's this big, massive project going on in uh, France. And I want you guys to hear about it first, alright? So, I just... I want to film this in secret. I want to film this away from the crowd. So I'm hiding in a little attic space right now. It looks very colorful for an attic space. I'm not too sure exactly what it's supposed to look like, but it's some kind of abandoned studio. I've been lighting it up and making it all look bearable. But listen, listen, this is important. There's a big project going on in France. There's this massive new coaster they're building up. And I just, I don't know what to make of it. So I've called on my good friend called Coaster Chow. Okay. He's going to actually film a news update on this, and I want you guys to listen to him because every single detail of this counts. So if you need me, I'll be incognito because I can't have people seeing me knowing about this project. So please, if you find this, just give this to Coaster Chalice extra bit of evidence. Just, just keep him safe. The sooner he finds out about this, the more in danger he becomes. Just please help him. Because if you help him, it helps me as well. I think that sound, I gotta go. Take all of the, what he gives you. Listen to every single detail he gives you about this new coaster. Just don't share it around. Keep it between you and him. Keep this between the audience and the creator. It's super secret. I don't even know the name of this project. I don't even know who it's by, but I'm pretty sure it's a company called Mac Rides. We're not s confirming this at this stage, but I think it may be Mac Rides. Just, just listen. Listen to everything he's got to say and just help him. I gotta go. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongs to One Bot, built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park news room update from Nigloland. Now this is a park in France, they have four Mac coasters, they have a new coaster on the way for families coming this year, uh, manufactured by ART Engineering called the Noisette Express, which is like a it's this hazelnut express, it's a kids coaster, however, we have some news that a 2021 coaster manufactured likely by Mac is on the way. Now we know this because of some footer photos that were spotted in the Coaster Force forum thread for this brand new roller coaster. Now before we get started, please like the video if you've loved it, please comment down below your thoughts, please subscribe to the channel for more theme park news updates and more exciting theme park content. We've got a very exciting video coming tomorrow which I am very excited to launch. I've pre-recorded it already, it's coming out tomorrow so stay tuned for that video and plenty more content besides. Please share this video and the channel with your friends, your family, and on social media. I don't care if you're a theme park enthusiast or a member of the general public who wants some tips or some hashtag factual entertainment. Bring them along. Get this channel growing and growing. You know, I want to be at the stage where other YouTubers are at. Book signings, tours, meeting fans, thousands and thousands of you uh, in public. It would be a fantastic opportunity and a fantastic experience as a content creator so please 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 let's get this channel to that stage and make sure guys you keep sending in your questions for our next question and answer session to celebrate 2,000 subscribers that will be on when we celebrate that milestone when we get closer and closer to that milestone we're closer and closer every day to 1,600 I think we're only a few subscribers off now of 1,600 which is fantastic and for now guys Let's get into this video. So I'm going to share with you all the details and then share my personal thoughts as to what this coaster could be. So this is from a park called Nigloland, which is in France. Now their most thrilling coaster is of course Alpine Blitz, which is a Mac Mega Coaster. Now I'm going to talk to you guys today because we have some coaster footers that were spotted on site recently for a 2021 coaster. Now I've noticed a couple of videos from the last week from French YouTubers, so I think I'm one of the first ones outside of France to report on this news. Uh, 
on YouTube. So very good. Uh, try and get this video out as quick as possible uh, to follow up on that statement. Uh, however, I'm going to share with you what we know from this. So I'm going to put a picture of Alpine Blitz on your screen while I'm talking about this just to give you an idea of the park's biggest investment to date and the fact that this one could be right up there. So let's share the stats. So if you go on the Coast Force forum yourselves when this video is done, uh, you can find a thread for this uh, known as uh, Niglo Land uh, Vertical Slash Unknown Vertical Slash New Roller Coaster for 2021. Now, this is apparently come across because CoasterWorld.fr, which I'm guessing is a French uh, enthusiast website, hosted a live stream doing a recap of a Planet Coaster event they did where the goal was to create the new 2021 ride for Nigloland. Everything went well until Ro Rodolf Jellis, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, director of the park appeared for a surprise video to announce the park was building a new coaster for 2021. And as a bonus, there was the footers already in place. So basically, if you don't know, go and check out that forum and you can see footers in place. Now from the exciting pictures of the footers, the footers very much look like a Mac footer. The four tan bolts and washer type are the same as what was seen at Niglo Land before, so that pretty much all but confirms, or all but assumes, it will be manufactured by Mack Rides. Now, obviously we know that Mack Rides have done all the other coasters at Niglo Land, as well as, um, you know, the other coaster that's not made by Mack, the Noisette Express, which is the ART engineering coaster for the kids, uh, which is set to come this year in 2020, at some point when the park opens. However, Obviously, we've got this new coast for 2021. Now, the big thing going around the forums at the minute is a Mac Big Dipper. Now, you're probably thinking, those in the general public side of things, what is a Mac Big Dipper? What do you call a Mac Big Dipper? Well, if you look online for Lost Gravity, which is a coaster at Wallaby, Holland, uh, now that coaster is a Mac Big Dipper, and it's actually... Uh, at, at the time, you know, just a couple of years ago, uh, or a few years ago when it first opened, it was the very first of its kind in the world. Now, of course, it wasn't long before other parks decided to follow suit, and the next Big Dipper would come uh, just three years, or uh, just over three years, after Lost Gravity opened at Wallby Holland, and Freisig Park Pallone in Saxony, Germany opened their Map Big Dipper on the former site of the Silvermine Flitzer Coaster, known as Dynamite. Now, Dynamite and Lost Gravity are the only uh, Big Dipper coasters, so this would be the first of its kind in France. Uh, so obviously we know that we've got one in Holland, we've got one in Germany. This would be the first Big Dipper coaster in France. It would be a first of its kind for the country. And I think it would be a very good addition for, for the country of France. And it would be a fantastic addition for the park. Because I think that Nigloland are really building up on their coasters now. Obviously they've got Alpine Blitz, which is a mega coaster. Uh, they've got an, in, what, an indoor mat coaster. They've got... Uh, a mine train coaster and they've got another Mac coaster as well so it's all steel but there's a, r a range between family and thrill this one would fall under the thrill category in my opinion and with the footers already going up on site this one's going to be a quick process to follow but of course the most exciting stuff will be set to come with the teasing the marketing and the official announcement of the coaster now you guys know how excited I was for Le Requi de Tuacures' Gerslau Eurofighter Vatika. Yes, it's Gerslauer. However, it was still an exciting process to watch. The fact that a smaller park in France, in the country, in Europe, was to get this 5 million euro coaster. Nigloland is bigger than Le Requi. It's one of the bigger parks out there, but it's not as big as the likes of Park Asterix. Disneyland Paris, the Walt Disney Studios Park, the big parks are Park Asterix and Disney. Those are the big parks in France. This one falls slightly under that, around about on the same level or arguably bigger than Park St. Paul. Um, so it's around about that, you know, mark. And basically, yeah, this one looks apparently set to be a Mac Big Dipper, but we don't know that for sure. That's the biggest rumor being tossed around. There's other rumors being tossed around about an extreme spinning coaster. I personally, I was ex I'd be excited if it was, but I personally don't think it will be an extreme spinning coaster purely because of two things. There is the actual footers, the, the four bolt footers that you've seen by Mac. 
it's usually different compared to the footers on, let's say, Time Traveller, which is an extreme spinning coaster at Silver Dollar City. And it's also the project name for Pop Slender Pan's extreme spinning coaster. The footer style is completely, di well, not completely different, but it's a little bit different. So I think from that perspective alone, I think we're not looking at an extreme spinner here. However, I think if it was an extreme spinner, it would be very hard to be an extreme spinner. Purely because I did hear the park actually saying that they were going to put in a launch on Alpine Blitz. However, they decided to remove that launch element for a cheaper lift hill uh, when, you know, beginning the process of designing that ride. So, you know, obviously, you know, they can still go in for a launch as it's just one ride they're talking about there. But it's kind of like a case... A case? It's like a case scenario where... Launches seem to be more expensive than lift hills in that kind of scenario for the Mac coasters. So, you know, I personally feel like a launch coaster will not be on the cards for Niglo Land. Uh, however, I think that a Mac Big Dipper would be perfect for the park. It would be a perfect thrill coaster. And it would be a very different seat design as well. Those of you who have seen pictures of Lost Gravity or Dynamite or have ridden any of them, you'll know the seat design on that is completely varied. And if you haven't seen any pictures or videos about that, obviously pictures and videos don't do it justice when you're actually there on park riding it. But if you want to get a taste or a feeling of how it's like to ride those coasters and the POVs and the images, they're your best options before you head to the parks when they reopen. Uh, because the seat variation on that will be a completely different Mac aspect for Niglo Land. So I think that whatever it is, I think it's going to be a fantastic looking coaster. I think it's going to be a great thrill coaster. It's great to see Niglo Land adding back-to-back -back coasters in back-to-back -back years. Obviously with the, the kids coaster coming this year apparently in 2020. Whether that's going to be pushed back into the same year as this new thrill coaster for 2021. Again, we don't know yet. Uh, and this coaster kind of came out of the blue in my opinion. I think obviously the a couple of French YouTubers brought this video videos out about this you know about a week ago however i do personally feel as if you know this could be uh, a very big project to follow in, in europe obviously pops under pans uh, extreme spinner the bnm invert going to Gronalund in sweden they're like the big projects for 2021 in europe so niglo land could be on the same wavelength as those two projects or around about that wavelength of those two projects so it will be one of the top european coaster projects to follow in terms of thrill coasters however uh, it'd be great to watch all of the projects in Europe for 2021 and across the world as well. So stay tuned for the latest updates on all the projects going across the world for 2021. We're going to be you know, right here covering it. There is still construction going off for 2020, 2021 projects, 2022 projects even. There's loads of construction still going on with these projects. So, you know, we'll still be covering them. We'll still be watching them very, very closely. I did see something recently from Wakala, which is the new coaster at Beloade in Belgium. So I'm going to hopefully, fingers crossed, do a construction update on that in the, in the next couple of days. Round up what we know, what the park's released, uh, any testing footage we can see from the park, uh, and also get that to you guys on the channel as well. So thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news and update from Niglo Land. Like I said earlier, I've got a huge video coming tomorrow uh, from Alton Towers. It's not a news update, it's not a prediction video, it's nothing like that. Basically, if you love opening packs on a certain game, video game, then you'll love that video. So stay tuned for all of that and trust me, no one else on YouTube has done it, so it will revolutionise the YouTube theme park industry and combine it with a very popular... Uh, YouTube genre. So, thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Child, cute on the Coast Live. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.